you can love doTERRA's products and not necessarily fully understand how big of a charitable business they are as well. Mm -hmm. This is a big part of them. They really feel strongly about helping as many people as possible. So the different ways that the Healing Hands organization helps is through anti-human trafficking, disaster relief, clean water and sanitation, empowering women, supporting children, global health, and self-reliance for small businesses. Welcome to the Bottle Poppin' Podcast, where Meg and Heather share their love for oils, friendship, and entrepreneurship. Let's get it poppin'. Hey, everyone. This is Meg. Hi there. This is Heather. And we are the Bottle Poppin' Podcast. So, Heather, what are we popping open today? We're going to pop open a conversation about how doTERRA gives back. But first, I want to know from you, Meg, how do you give back? I give back in a few different ways. So we do tithe to our church. I also, from a business standpoint, I give 10% from my nutrition business to uh, the Children's Hunger Fund, which is an amazing organization that helps feed kids all over the world. I'm really excited to partner with them. This is my first year to partner with them. And then from a doTERRA standpoint, I give back through the Healing Hands Foundation. So how about you? I also give back to the Healing Hands Foundation through the LRP. You can donate right through that, and we'll talk about that in a few minutes. The biggest way that I currently give back is through my time. I am a volunteer at my children's school a lot. And so this year alone, I already have over 115 hours of volunteer time for the school. So that is the primary way that I currently give back. And just to clarify, when you say this year, do you mean the school year or do you mean like it is currently March 1st? Do you mean just in 2020? What year are we? 2024. (laughs) (laughs) Yes. School year, thankfully. So this this school year from August until now, I have done 115 hours. Yeah, that's huge. And you're definitely making an impact, which is I hope so. You know, so you know, so (laughs) (laughs) awesome. Okay, well. Let's unpack Healing Hands Foundation. So the Healing Hands Foundation is doTERRA's charitable organization, and 100% of the proceeds go back into the aid. They cover all of the administrative cost and the overhead of everything that keeps the organization running. That way, all of the money that gets donated goes directly towards helping as they want it to. And there seems to be eight specific topics that are specifically addressed through the healing hate. Sorry, before you go into that, I want to clarify something because you said they cover all the cost, but they isn't even doTERRA. It's specifically the owners of doTERRA, like they take out of their own pockets, which I just think is amazing. And again, shows the heart of the company. So just wanted to clarify that. Sorry to interrupt, but go ahead. (laughs) Well, and I think that you can love doTERRA's products and not necessarily fully understand how big of a charitable business they are as well. Mm -hmm. This is a big part of them. They really feel strongly about helping as many people as possible. So the different ways that the Healing Hands organization helps is through anti-human trafficking, disaster relief, clean water and sanitation, empowering women, supporting children, global health and self-reliance for small businesses. So cool. So there are there are specifically two products that you can purchase and proceeds go to it. So one of them is the Rose Lotion and it smells amazing. And 100% of when you purchase this, 100% of that goes to the Healing Hands Foundation. And I think it's, uh, I think it's $20. I believe so, purchase. yes. So it's really reasonable, especially when you consider how expensive Rose is but it's a good lotion. I just put it on. It doesn't make your hands feel sticky or anything. And it smells delightful and rosy. (laughs) The other option is the Hope Touch Roller called the Uplifting Blend. And it smells maybe citrus and vanilla. Okay. I'm going to go, you start talking. I'm going to go ahead and look it up because now I'm curious what is in this because I am unsure. So in addition to these two products that you can purchase, you also can just donate directly to the Healing Hands. So Heather and I both kind of 
touched on that in the beginning where we talked about how we give monthly. So if you are a loyalty rewards program member, then and, and maybe you have this on all orders. Maybe it's not just loyalty rewards, but at the bottom, like you've got the list of the products that you want. And at the bottom, it asks if you want to donate to it. And so you can literally just click the box. I think it's automatically set at $1 per, mm -hmm. per order, but you can change that to whatever you want. So that's just a really easy way to give back. I mean, we all probably can afford to give a dollar. And if you can give more, amazing. They also have a program where you can decide that you want to fundraise for a specific event or um, project, and then it gets approved through the Healing Hands Foundation. And so you do fundraising and then doTERRA matches whatever you raise. So our team, our bigger team has done that a few times. And that's been really cool to know, like we are specifically impacting, you know, I know one of them was we raised money for a home that rehabilitated children who had gone through sex trafficking. And it was just kind of cool to know, I know where my money's going, I'm making a difference. And so cool that this organization comes along and you know matches the donations as well. And I think that matching part of it really means that you can also help raise money for organizations that are close to your home. And I know that falls a lot into disaster relief, that if there is a particular disaster that is local to a particular area and a wellness advocate decides to raise money for that, and then they can get it matched through the Healing Hands organization, I mean, like you said, you already know where your money's going, but now it's going to something that's directly affecting your community too, which is nice. Yeah. And because we've got literally boots on the ground all over the world, so many times when there's a natural disaster, doTERRA already has people in those areas. So like the thing that comes to mind right now was the Maui fires, like we, we grow our sandalwood in Maui. And so we had people on the ground who were able to say, this is exactly what we need right now. And they had the funds to be able to ship things out there. So speaking of sandalwood, that is one of the ingredients in the Hope Roller. There is actually quite a few oils in this. No vanilla, which I initially thought I smelled. It is cedarwood, wild orange, lemon, pedigrain, lemon pedigrain, pink pepper, bergamot, sandalwood, vetiver, magnolia, and two different kinds of jasmine, the steam distilled essential oil and jasmine absolute. So there's a lot of oils in this. There are. And so for this one, so what you said before is true. The $20 for the rose lotion goes directly to the aid. With this one, $10 from the bottle goes specifically to human trafficking and victimization. So this one is a little bit more specific on where at least part of the money is going to what part of the organization. Yeah. And I was at convention the year when they released hope and like shared about it. And it truly is blended to make you feel hopeful. And so that's why they wanted to match it with human trafficking. Cause that is definitely just an area that if you've been trafficked, you lack hope probably. And so to be able to give somebody something that makes them feel hopeful is just, beautiful, you know, and, and it's not just that it's named hope, but yeah, we've got these amazing chemists to truly test things to make sure that this is the emotion that it creates. So I love that. And if you're curious about these specific products or specifically about uh, where the money is going and what projects are currently being used are uh, supported through that money, you can go to doterrahealinghands.org and you can kind of see all of that information. When we start talking about doTERRA's charitable side, Healing Hands is really only a part of it. There's this whole greater conversation that we figure we'll save for another episode because co-impact sourcing is another way that they directly affect communities and give back. But that's a lengthy conversation. So we figure we'll save that for uh, its own time. Yeah. But if you just want an easy way to give back, check out Healing Hands Foundation. Like I said, it can be as simple as a dollar with every doTERRA order. So you can make a big impact, especially because there's so many of us ordering. All right. Anything else on this topic? This is one of my favorite things about doTERRA. I yeah. love their heart. It You feel that at convention anytime they're talking about any of these things. 
I love that I am supporting a company that is also supporting others. Yeah, totally agree. Okay, well, we hope that we've piqued your interest on how Healing Hands works and go check it out. Donate towards it if you can. And we'll have a brand new episode for you next week. Thanks for tuning in. For more information, you can follow these bottle popping ladies at bottlepoppinpodcast.com. Tune in next week to learn about what bottle we're popping. Until next time, take care. These statements have not been evaluated by the Food and Drug Administration. This podcast is not intended to treat, diagnose, cure, or prevent any disease.